Hi, welcome to RK Broadcast. Buddies, we can handle many different types of data in data analysis. One among them is a binary data or binary variables. In this video, simply explain how to find dissimilarity between binary variables. Where you need to be very clear about what is dissimilarity. Dissimilarity means how two binary variables are different each other. We all know binary variable represents has only two states. It indicates either 0 or 1, yes or no, true or false. Let us see an example. A person is a smoker indicates 1. If he is not a smoker, indicates 0. To computing the dissimilarity between binary variables, the contingency matrix is important. In this matrix, there are two objects like object i and j. Both the objects are represents 1, 1. It indicates Q. Both the objects are like 1, 0. It represents Q. Object i is 0 and object j is 1. It represents S. And both objects represents 0. It indicates T. This is the contingency matrix which is important for us to find out the dissimilarity between binary variables. Before that, the binary variables generally two types. One is symmetric. Another one is asymmetric. A binary variable is a symmetric if both of its states are equally valuable or important and carry the same weight. That means there is no preference on which outcome should be coded as 0 or 1. Both are equally important. Example, uh, example a symmetric variable, a gender, states of male and female, equally valuable. Come to the point here, there is an asymmetric variable. How to find out a dissimilarity? The dissimilarity can be found to symmetric binary variables using simple matching coefficient, which is important here, simple matching coefficient. This can be defined. Similarity among objects i and j, r plus s divided by q plus r plus s plus t. We know what is r s, what is q s t all. Whereas in other case, there is an asymmetric variables. The binary variable is asymmetric. The outcome of the states are not equally important, such as a positive and negative outcomes. Example, a corona patient tested with a positive have more impact than negative. Asymmetric binary variables, the dissimilarity can be found out using Jacquard coefficient. This can be represented with dissimilarity between two variables i and j equals to r plus s divided by q plus r plus s. There is no t here like a simple matching coefficient. In the asymmetric binary variables, if two attributes indicated 0, we cannot consider it. That is the meaning. That's why the T, T represents in the contingency matrix you observed, uh, two represents, uh, two attributes represent 0 and 0. But here in the Jacquard coefficient, we can simply eliminate this. Come to the point, how to find out dissimilarity between binary variables. Let's see the simple example, how to find dissimilarity between binary variables. This is the data set. It contains uh, three different patient's information. These are all the different attributes and this is the contingency matrix for your reference just I kept here. Come to this gender is a symmetric attribute or symmetric binary variable and these are the asymmetric variables fever, cough and four different tests. Now we need to find out the dissimilarity between two different patients. Take here Raju and Ramya. As for the Jacquard coefficient, it represents R plus S divided by Q plus R plus S. T is not considered as for earlier discussion, will not be considered here as a Jacquard coefficient. R represents here object to 0 and 1. Means, but here values are S or no. Here 1 indicates S or a positive, 0 indicates no or a negative. We observe here 
what are the this representation r r indicates here 1 0 or a positive negative or yes no how many are there here between raju and ramya s no cases this is not this is not this is not this is not this is also not so we write here 0 r representation is 0 come to the s s represents 0 1 means no s or a negative positive no s or a negative positive so 1 divided by q q representation is 1 1 s s or positive positive s s and positive this one this one Re rest of all negative so it represents q is 2 r r again represents 1 0 1 0 we do not have 1 0 and s represents 0 1 0 1 means no s or negative positive no s and negative positive negative positive again 1 s is 1 so this is simplify 0 0.33 now come to the another combination we can observe among raju and ravi dissimilarity between these two Clearly, r plus s divided by q plus r plus s again see between these two raju and ravi earlier we have seen raju and ramya now raju and ravi raju and ravi r r indicates again same one zero s no or positive negative positive negative one in this case positive negative one no other one plus sorry yes in place of s zero one zero one means positive negative or yes no presented here one divided by q one one s s one this one q in q indicates what two or positive this is one two or s case this one and this one there is no other between these two or positive positive so one plus come to the r yes no or positive negative here in this case one again s means negative positive or no s negative positive or no s this one again one this can be simplified 0 0.67 now we see according to these two things there is a disease similarity is more between raju and ravi than raju and ramya so according to this there is a 67 percent similarity ab about the raju and ravi rather than raju and ramya this is the way we can find out the dissimilarity or similarity among uh, dissimilarity among different binary variables this is a simple example for it for you share this video to your friends please subscribe this channel thank you very much